As of the moment, I don't have many concerns about the UK economy. It's growing. Uh, unemployment has been falling very rapidly. Its growth is accelerating. Inflation is not really a problem at all. All that is very attractive. The one area one would point to, I think, for uh, where there is a need for improvement would be in uh, productivity. And I think that's something that successive governments, this government, the next government, whether the same government or a different one, will certainly be focusing on in the next uh, four or five years. As far as the European countries, including Britain, are concerned, what happens across Asia, including China, is important. So if China slows and Asia slows, then plainly there's a lesser market for the UK and the Europeans. But as far as the UK are concerned, we have an extraordinary record of trading with countries in every part of the world. So even if the Chinese market for us dips a little, I think there are other markets around the world where we can pick up that slack. So we would like to see China booming. It's good for everyone if she does. But if she slows temporarily while she deals with potential inflation and other problems, I don't think it will cause especially difficult problems for the UK. The purpose of the bank is to deal with the huge infrastructure needs of Asia. Uh, estimates are that something like $8 trillion are concerned, an absolutely phenomenal amount of money, because a huge amount of infrastructure development is needed. I, I think it will be very helpful for all those countries who are members in terms of helping to build the infrastructure that's necessary. So I think there will be an economic gain for them, as well as the more general gain for the world if you can lift growth through better structural development right across Asia. I think that is a political problem rather than an economic problem. And it's a problem that will need to be dealt with. If you recall the Arab Spring, one of the factors of the Arab Spring was the maldistribution of wealth and jobs right the way across the Middle East. And so it's clearly a political problem we have to look at very carefully. I think the Western nations will need to look at progressive taxation. And I think in terms of multinational companies, they'll need internationally to look a little more carefully perhaps than hitherto to make sure that the multinationals pay a fair, a fair amount of tax.